You're so smart. You're so gifted. How do you do so well without even trying? These are things that you hear when you are a classic overachiever. But the kind of overachieving that we're talking about here is the type of overachieving that makes you set your feelings aside, that makes you lock your heart up in a tight little cage, and instead you focus all of your energy on your will, on achievement, on pushing forward. Maybe you know somebody in your life that when they achieve something, they don't celebrate. They move straight ahead to the next goal, the next conquest, the next task that has to be achieved. And what about you? Do you give yourself credit for the things that you've achieved in life? Do you ever allow yourself to feel proud of yourself? And back then when you were a child, did anybody tell you that they were proud of you? Okay, I know I've just hit you with so much information at once, so let's take a deep breath together and get into today's video, which is all about healing your heart chakra. But Anthony, what does that have to do with achievement and will? We're about to see. If you're new to the channel, my name is Anthony Zensides. We talk about all things vibration, consciousness, manifestation, spirituality on this channel. We've got so many amazing new phases here and I would love to have you on here as well. So subscribe because you don't wanna miss out on these new videos. What we're talking about today was a requested topic because so many of us have been asking about more archetypes, character structures, and chakra healing content. Here we're talking about the heart chakra. When you grow up in a family that does not give you love and affection, that does not cherish you, that does not celebrate your achievements, but rather treats them as if they were just the default or as what you're always supposed to be doing, you develop a deficiency or lack of love in the heart chakra can you relate to this example the example of growing up in a family that when you got good grades when you brought a report card home your father or your mother would just look at it and go that's what you're supposed to be doing all you do is go to school that's your job so that's really nothing special did you have your achievements dismissed or invalidated or were you made to feel like anything you did was never good enough this created a core belief, an energetic holding pattern inside of yourself that directed your energy away from your heart and into your will or solar plexus. Many of us who identify with this character structure, which is called The Achiever in this fantastic book by Anna Dia Judith, Eastern Body, Western Mind. Many of us who identify with being the achiever feel this core sense of emptiness. Even when we're in romantic relationships, we have no feelings of intimacy or long lasting love and affection towards another person. We might feel infatuated for a short period of time, but then we just seem to get bored. And you might relate to this if you find yourself having an avoidant attachment style as well. This is not because you're not capable of love or love just isn't in the cards for you. It's because there is a deep seated fear of not being good enough. This is a fear that all of us have to some extent, but when you're taught that your worth is conditional on how much you can achieve and that searching for love or validation from your family is hopeless, you focus all your energy once again on willpower. You might wake up in a state of agitation or irritation in the first few moments of your day, immediately obsessed with the things that you have to get done or your to-do list or this thing over here that you have to finish, this project that you have to do. And you start worrying also about how you're going to be perceived by others for the work that you do. This unfortunately creates a deficiency in your sacral chakra, which has to do with pleasure and sexuality and joy and engagement with the present moment in life, as well as your heart chakra. Now love truly is the central force of the universe. Love is what allows us to connect with each other and to connect with the divine on an incredibly deep level. Love, in my mind, in my opinion, and definitely comment down below if you agree, is a basic human need, just as important as food, water, shelter. Love is that important. And if we don't have it, we become a shell of who we could be. We might be charming on the outside, we might be gifted in certain areas or have a lot of talent, but we never feel like we're actually being seen and heard for who we truly are. And key point right here, the imposter syndrome that you feel, the feeling of, 
why am I even at this job? I'm not qualified to do this. Or the feeling of, does my partner actually like me or have they just been pretending this whole time? All of that comes from the central fear that the persona of the go-getter, the achiever, the successful person that we've spent so much time building and crafting in order to hide the true us, our fear is that that persona is gonna crack just a tiny bit. We're gonna be less than perfect just a tiny bit and people are going to peer through that crack and see the real us and the real us will be too bad or too unworthy for them to accept and love a surefire way to tell if you are the achiever if you identify with this character type if you're not already feeling it intuitively watching this video is how you respond to compliments if i were to sit in front of you right now and say you look amazing today what would you say? A lot of us would respond exactly like this. Oh no, I don't look that good. I just barely did my hair this morning or I barely, I just got out of bed. I just put on whatever I could find, something like that. We immediately dismiss compliments. And the reason for that is because when someone compliments you on your work, your achievements or who you are, we have such a heart, mind, body disconnect that any sort of praise or compliment or love from someone else feels inauthentic. It never actually reaches your heart because your heart again has been blocked off because your heart never actually felt safe to express itself or express emotions or love to other people. And this is what it means to be a functional person, to be successful in different areas of life which you might find yourself doing, but feeling completely detached or completely inauthentic or again like an imposter in your own body and spirit and your heart. And when you live this way, there's this chronic feeling of dissatisfaction, of again inauthenticity. This feeling that you're just pretending to live your life. You're acting, but you're not actually participating. And for a while, we can keep this up. We can be successful. We can give the outward appearance that we're doing amazing, that everything's great. That was the persona we created to survive. But eventually, we break down a little bit. Our feelings that we've been ignoring our entire lives, pushing down and down and further down, start to come up again. They come up in nightmares where we're running from someone or something and we wake up in a cold sweat. They come in dreams where we lose something and we have to face the grief that we've been suppressing and hiding from ourselves this whole time. I know a lot of people have been asking especially how to interpret your dreams and so use those examples that I just gave you. See how the feelings that you have unconsciously suppressed are coming out in different areas. Or maybe you find yourself functional most of the time, but for some reason, you just lose your temper sometimes. You just lose your cool, you blow up. And after it happens, you start thinking, what came over me? Why did that happen? I'm not usually like that. It's repressed emotions. Your heart is the center of your entire being. It's the bridge between your upper chakras, your upper energy, or your higher self as some of us would call it, and your lower chakras, your lower energy, or your lower self. It's important to realize that higher and lower, in this case, we're not talking about high vibration and low vibration. We're talking about parts of yourself, your psyche, your spirit, your chakra system that are absolutely essential for your holistic well-being. I know Dia Judith in this book even talks about posture and talks about how when you have this character structure of the achiever or the rigid character structure. You kind of puff your chest out to give the appearance of confidence, but everything's actually locked in place. So as compared to a normal breathing pattern where everything rises and falls simultaneously, someone who's in this rigid pattern or this achiever pattern would have the chest and everything kind of locked in position so that nothing really moves when there is a breath. There's a lot of unconscious tension when it comes to you being this overachiever type or this rigid type, and none of it is your fault. It comes again from this childhood pattern of having to achieve so much that one day you hope you'll cross that threshold of, okay, you've had enough success now to finally be lovable. It's the endless chase for a moment that never comes. And that moment never comes because we're only trained to achieve and achieve and achieve and achieve some more and that's why you might attract people in your life romantically who remind you of your family you get in relationships with people who undervalue you who never recognize you when you do something well and who only talk to you in forms of criticism of negativity of complaints about you of you never measuring up 
talking about masculine and feminine energies as well. When we have an overbearing masculine energy like this, we constantly seek achievement, we seek recognition, and we seek validation. Paradoxically, that validation only feels good for a tiny bit because then we go right back to criticizing ourselves and realizing that we're still not allowing the real us to come forth. And suppressing our feminine energy in this way with this overbearing masculine energy means that we act out in different ways. So for example, during the week, you might have a really productive work week. All your colleagues are high-fiving you, going, amazing job, you're the hardest worker that we've ever seen. But on the weekends, you go drinking and you black out or you binge eat or you engage in something else, whatever it is. It's almost like you're a different person between the week and between the weekend. Now, obviously, this isn't just limited to those specific periods of days, but you can see the disconnect that happens when we form this achiever persona and leave no room for enjoyment or heart-centered living. We act out with self-destructive tendencies because intuitively we know that this persona is not authentic and so we want to tear it down by expressing our shadow and acting out in this way. It's similar to what we talked about before with the endurer character type. Go watch that video if you haven't already. It will always tell you, you look so calm, you look so put together, but it's a completely different story on the inside. And the reason why I share these things in such detail with so many examples is because when we feel seen and heard, the message actually reaches us. It actually reaches your heart. And that is why I encourage everybody to share this video. Share this video as much as you can. Share this video with a friend because by doing so, we elevate the collective vibration and we truly embody the intention behind these messages, which is for them to heal and reach as many people as possible. And everybody has been so amazing. You have been so amazing in sharing these videos. And I want to thank you for that humbly from the bottom of my heart. Now, how do we shift out? of this cycle of this achiever character structure it starts with healing your heart chakra it starts with giving yourself appreciation here is one thing that i want you to try that i read so long ago in louise hay's book you can heal your life which is a classic comment down below if you've read it as well she gives an exercise in which you say this affirmation or this phrase i approve of myself try it right now say it to yourself how did that feel? Did it feel natural? Did it feel authentic? Or did it feel like those same compliments that we get from other people? To crack the shell around our heart that says the only way we can ever be lovable is if we achieve things, I want you instead to practice approving of yourself. Say this whenever you can, I approve of myself. Experiment with how it would feel if you let your authentic self shine through and you actually approved of that authentic self i want you to experiment with affirmations like this i approve of myself and just see how they feel the moment you become aware of if they feel authentic or inauthentic whatever it is just take note because you're learning more about yourself and self-knowledge is the thing that is ultimately going to set us free on this path of learning to love and appreciate yourself just set the intention to find ways over the next few days or weeks to pat yourself on the back. The next time that you think about your achievements, take extra time to just let it soak in, to allow yourself to be proud of yourself. And we've also got to redefine what achievements actually are. Sometimes strength isn't about going outside and trying to move mountains. Sometimes strength looks like just waking up another day. And you, my friend, watching this video, although we might live in different cities, although we might not have met in person, there's one thing that I know about you, and that is that you are truly strong. So giving yourself that credit and saying things like that, I approve of myself, is so very important. I want you to try it for the next few days, for today especially, and to let me know how it goes in the comments. Now this all goes with inner child healing. We've been talking about the inner child so much on this channel recently because it is the epitome of this new timeline shift, of this jump, whatever you want to call it. We have to go back to the inner child. I've also created an inner child resource, especially for you, especially for this time right now. It is called Heal Your Inner Child and Manifest Your Dreams. This is not just a course. This is your friend. 
your friend who is always going to be there for you, your friend who knows exactly what you've been through and who is here to support you, to offer you unconditional love and acceptance and healing. I'm so excited for everybody who has already started your healing journey with this course. Welcome all my beautiful new students and I would love for you to join us as well. So check it out in the description and as my gift to you, you can use code SUMMER25 for 25% off the course. Shout out to everybody who has been able to utilize the payment plan option as well. That's awesome. I think the more of us that are able to utilize this resource, the more collective healing takes place and once again, that is the mission the intention behind this channel and these videos. Make sure to leave a like, share this video if you haven't already. You can join Patreon for more exclusive stuff. Keep being beautiful, keep being blessed, keep being the amazing person that you are.